Tito, what's going on with you uh, with uh, Bellator? When's uh, the next fight? Um, I don't know. I'm waiting on it. I'm negotiating right now. I'm, I'm working on getting a world title fight, you know, against uh, Liam McGrary. He just won the uh, light heavyweight world title. Um, I went 2-0 last year. You know, I took out the 185-pound 185 pound world champion, Shlomenko, in like uh, 2 minutes, 37 seconds. And then I fought Bonner. Um, about three weeks prior to the fight, I got a detached retina when the blood vessels broke. And That's what was up with your I asked you about your eye, and you gave me a, a poker face. You're like, oh, it happens all the time in sparring. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no, I... When someone talks about your family, someone talks as much as he did, I, I, I couldn't pull out of the fight. I had no choice. So I went with hard and determination. I won the rounds that I needed to win. You know, I got the takedowns I needed to get on him, and, um, but I got the win, and that's what matters. So working on the world title, that's what I want. And I think it's my time now. I have two fights left in my contract with Bellator, and uh, I want to finish my career here in Bellator and uh, finish as the world champion. You know, on an ending note, I know there's been a, a lot of news regarding Anderson and that drug test. What's your view on that? Man, I made me scratch my head a couple times like Anderson how could you do that I'm a huge fan of Anderson and um, that just was too bad I mean I don't know what kind of uh, thoughts he's getting from his training partners or from his trainers but things like that you're not you shouldn't do you know I've had major surgeries I've had L45 S1 fuse C6 C7 fused uh, C3 C4 a disc replacement ACLs on both knees and you just got to work hard in your mind and uh, I don't know how much better what Adidas did if, if he wasn't on it you know uh, you know, Diaz got popped for marijuana, which is crazy. I mean, you expect that from him, which is horrible. But Diaz put on a great fight. Uh, but it made me scratch my head, you know. All those guys in UFC, they're getting popped for their drug testing. It's like, what kind of uh, thing are you trying to show to our youth? So many youth look at, to us as role models, our inspirations. And uh, can't be doing things like that. And it's uh, too bad. It's kind of sad for the sport at the same time. But hopefully they learned and um, they pay for what they've done. You know, it's... Interesting you bring that up because when that happened, a lot of people went, you know what? They started reevaluating Fedor and putting Fedor as the greatest uh, for them. But a lot of people also bring it up, well, that kind of comes into question now, Anderson's past performances. Because of that, do you feel that maybe the past performances come under a little bit more scrutiny? Yeah, of course. People are going to question all that. Um, what do you do? Do you question it? Uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like I said, it's just it's bad all the way around. It's bad for him, bad for the sport, you know, bad for UFC. Um, I mean, you got to make, you got to put reprimands on guys like that. You got to, got to make them pay for it. I think. Well, Tito, it's good seeing you, man. I'll go ahead and see you in Huntington in, in your camp, and yeah, hopefully yeah. Uh, that fight with Liam uh, gets announced uh, soon. Viacom, <laughs> Bellator, Spike, please, uh, Liam. I know he's not afraid. I seen him in here, and he's a tall guy, a little weak, but. I'll get a world title on my waist for sure if I get a chance. Tito Ortiz, the People's Champ here in Ontario. With me, of course, Marcos Vegas for the Boxing Channel.